only that is happening. What about that, Jordan? Yes. Yes. Hello and welcome to Wired Outdoors. We have a great show for you today. We're going to be joining field staffer Doug Gardner as he's heading to Montana on a do-it-yourself whitetail and mule deer hunt. He's heading out with his son Cody, a couple other family members, and if you followed us in the past, you've seen Doug has had some great success on these do-it-yourself hunts out there with his wife, with other family members, and this year is going to be no different. Before we get to the show, this is part one of two, we want to tell everybody, if you like our shows, we're producing 60, 70 shows a year, make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell beside it, you'll get a notification every time we upload a new show, and let's get right to the hunt. All right, guys, this is day two of our do-it-yourself Montana deer hunt, and up to this point, the weather has shut us down. I think we're in the middle of a blizzard. We've got high winds. Visibility is pretty bad. Uh, it's just not the most conducive conditions for hunting, let alone filming a hunt. But we're gonna give it our all, we'll see what happens. We're crossing our fingers that this storm will let up pretty soon and we'll get into some deer. All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but this is day three, and uh, it's pretty much the same. If you can see behind us here, the visibility is almost down to, what, 50 yards maybe. The winds are high, the winds are blowing snow all over the place. It's not real good, but we're gonna see. We're gonna keep on going, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we are in day four, and today is pretty much the same that we've had the last three days. Uh, conditions are pretty bad. We're not really seeing a lot of deer. I think they're all hunkered down, but uh, we're still positive. We're gonna keep pushing through and hopefully we're gonna find some deer. Stay tuned, we're hoping for a good one yet. Nice job, Uncle Ron. Oh, he did down, huh? Yeah, he did. There we go. Nice job, Uncle Ron. Here, I crawled up to another tree. We got on him, I suppose, a little over 100 yards. Uh, my new Browning Hills Canyon 308 dropped him in his tracks. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Congrats, Ron. Great shot. And that hunt, it happened super fast. You guys have been dealing with terrible weather, and it was great to see you get it done. And day six has been awesome so far. Cody actually was able to tag out on a mule deer earlier in the day himself. But this day and hunt is not over yet, so let's get right back to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
to the left. guys we are literally probably 10 miles from a road there is no option of dragging this deer out so what we're going to do is we're going to bone it out the best we can uh, get everything that the state requires and we're going to bone it out put it on the back so just carry it out so this will be fun Congratulations guys, what a day, day number six, three mule deer, that is awesome. And like we said before, this is just part one of two. We have part two and Doug's gonna be up, it's going all the way to the last day, so make sure you see that show as well. But want to remind everybody, if you like this show and all of our other shows, click that subscribe button, click that little notification bell, give us a comment, give us a like, and thank you all for joining us on Wired Outdoors.